You know how there have been long-running rumors that Jay-Z is using drugs to control Beyoncé? Well, not only is Solange involved in this drama, but salons have recently begun to spill the craziest Knowles family tea. And it's spicy. Verifying that claim, but she's also spilling fresh information about their father Matthew supposedly selling Beyoncé to Jay-Z. If you think that's unbelievable, get ready for some serious drama, because Solange is additionally supporting Jaguar Wright's wild claims that Jay-Z has been scheming Beyoncé his close pal Diddy whenever we begin to doubt that this could get any better. Even worse, there's more shocking information that emerges, but Solange still has more to share regarding this insanity. Is Beyoncé truly a victim of this whole time, and if so, is this the reason she filed for bankruptcy? Let's spill this tea in favor of divorce because, well, Diddy and the Dotty Diddy Diddy Diddy, oh, they didn't give over tapes purportedly containing the hold on everyone. It appears that Solange is finished dumping the tea on Jay-Z and Carter's. The and and the B and the Beyonce how on the cosin and the recordings had jizz all over it are some freak off. The claims that her parents, Tina and Matthew Knowles, sold Beyonce Jay-Z when she was very little, and she is going on to more worrisome things, such as his involvement with Diddy. That's not all Solange also alleges that her parents ignored her entirely because they were preoccupied with Beyonce's profession and her business marriage to Jay-Z. As everyone is aware, Solange wasn't always the sophisticated woman you see now in the past. She was a bit of a troublemaker who frequently found herself in awkward circumstances. However, it turns out that wasn't it was more about her parents giving Beyoncé their whole attention and energy, because she was obviously their favorite child than it was because she had a propensity for mischief or enjoyed causing trouble. Although Solange wasn't exactly neglected, they weren't exactly careless either. At a young age, they had Beyoncé on the road to fame, training her, and it seemed like Beyoncé was his entire world. Matthew didn't manage the situation well, but fortunately his mother Tina was aware of it. Solange had to jump through hoops to seek attention, which is why she got into trouble so frequently. She took some action to assist Solange in better adjusting to the circumstances. Tina disclosed that she enrolled Solange in counseling to assist her in managing the stress of being Beyoncé's younger sister. I brought them to counseling so that the counselor could assist Beyoncé in being more understanding of her being five years younger than herself. She stated that it was difficult because Beyoncé was the little superstar in our city. When they were younger, Solange annoyed Beyoncé for a little period of time, but it also made her more aware of Solange's identity and the struggles she had as a result. Fortunately, her mom's encouragement helped her get past her difficult phase. Her father, on the other hand, seemed more focused on turning Beyoncé into a megastar, even if it meant ignoring other concerns. Considering Solange's needs, it's understandable that, over time, she has grown closer to her mother while maintaining a distance from her father. Solange's relationship with her father has also matured. Destiny's Child, Beyoncé's girl group, was already making waves in the music industry when she entered high school, but not in a positive way. Matthew, who managed them, came up with the notion of forcing Solange to join the group, but Solange wouldn't have it. She preferred to forge her own route rather than follow in her sister's footsteps. You know, she's always wanted Solange to be a part of Destiny Shay. It always seemed to me like Matthew tried to turn Solange into another Beyoncé, which made her feel even more pressured by how everyone was comparing her, and she simply never wanted to be one. In her song, God Given Name, Beyoncé addressed her feelings of continuously falling short and begged for the comparisons to cease, saying, I'm not becoming expectations, I'm, I'm not her sister, I'm just my God-given name existing in this galaxy, and I never will be two girls going in separate directions seeking to reach the same galaxy. Let my starlight shine on its own. After living under Beyoncé's shadow for so long, Solange naturally felt driven to carve out her own route. Ultimately, she chose to follow her older sister's career path and pursue singing, but when she felt ready, remember how Matthew practically sidelined Solange in her early career by throwing his weight behind Beyoncé. Her parents didn't support her as much when she first started her career as they did Beyoncé, and making her feel ignored, but when Solange started her own music career, he didn't offer the same amount of support, perhaps he was too busy with Beyoncé, couldn't manage a second growing career. Perhaps he didn't think Solange had what it took to succeed, or maybe he was angry with her for turning down the chance to join Destiny's Child. Regardless of the motivation, the fact remains some think that because he didn't support her as much as he supported Beyoncé, 
Solange's career isn't as successful as Beyonce's right now. Don't get me wrong, Solange is succeeding in her own right. Despite having a successful career and numerous awards, Solange's fame is still far greater than Beyonce's, and some people still only know her as Beyonce's sister, despite the fact that Solange is just despite Solange's ability. But a lot of people have argued over the years that the only reason Beyonce is more successful is because her father gave her everything. In fact, some have even made comments about Solange. I apologize for being the more gifted sibling, but Solange is far more skilled than Beyonce. I'll just say it now Solange is far more talented than Beyonce. Yes, at this point, I believe we're beginning to see more clearly why she would harbor resentment. And remember, this family does their best to keep things as quiet as possible. But when it comes to their family, Matthew always lets big details slip and reveals things that ought to have remained private. For instance, do you recall the not long after the notorious lift altercation between Solange and Music Jay-Z, Beyonce, Z, and Say Z and Solange released a statement stating that our family has overcome it, and that's what matters most. Jay and Solange both accept their part in the situation and take responsibility for what happened. They both expressed regret to each other for the private incident that came to light in public, and as a united family, we have moved forward. They didn't say anything more, but Matthew went on with Wendy. Show, and he talked about it. However, Beyonce is a very private person. If you saw Beyonce, Solange, Jay-Z, and the security in the lift, how did you feel about that? To say that I'm laughing so hard because, well, if you know Solange, then you know Solange. You just never know what you're going to get. Firecracker, you don't know. Solange found this circumstance to be very uncomfortable, which makes sense given her dislike of having her personal matters discussed in public. Despite the fact that she and her father don't have a stable connection, she should be commended for her attempts to strengthen their relationship. She stated in an interview that she had our connection wasn't always great, so it was still very much a work in progress. I told him that in order to sort out my adolescence and young adult years, there was still so much I needed to know. Nonetheless, I believe my understanding of the trauma my dad went through and how it seems to have been generationally transmitted to me has improved significantly. We both sort of lived in the white spaces as in Matthew had a chance at redemption when word of his infidelity leaked out, but we discovered how much it can truly shape and mold your perception of the world, race, and identity. That he had been unfaithful to Tina throughout their marriage, but when it was revealed in 2009 that he had fathered a kid with a woman named Alexandra Wright Tina, things reached a breaking point. He was heartbroken and sued for divorce, but she gave him another chance, and less than a year later, he repeated his betrayal by having another child outside of Tina's marriage. Enough by then and reopened their divorce proceedings in a sense. Beyonce and Solange also formally divorced their father as they grew apart, especially Solange, who had been in her mom was severely hurt by his acts during the process of making amends. And it was the tipping point. However, it took years of relationship problems for her to sever ties with him. Years have passed since the long-suppressed anger eventually surfaced, but Solange still harbors bitterness towards her father she hardly ever acknowledges him, and it appears that certain wounds are irreversibly damaged. As Solange is committed to preserving her peace, keeping her distance from Matthew and harboring her grudge indefinitely, this leads us to her most recent revelations of how Matthew sold Beyoncé to Jay-Z, citing Solange's revelation that Matthew was supposedly preparing Beyoncé for success from a young age, which is why he was so involved in her life. This involved supposedly choosing Beyonce's husband and reportedly selling Beyonce to Jay-Z. She further asserts that despite the fact that M. Tina was purportedly though Beyonce be the queen of the beehive, she does not have the same level of awareness of it, and she did nothing to stop it in fact. Solange claimed that she even promoted it. Jay-Z's purported control over her stems from her being sold to him by her parents, which has long been a source of discussion regarding their relationship. Conjecture because of its peculiar dynamics prior to Solange E.B. releasing her new revelations, several people had discussed this, including Beyoncé's former bodyguard, D who was among the first to argue that the Carters' marriage was more of a contractual arrangement than a sincere romantic relationship and that yours was a financial partnership to succeed financially turn into billionaires there's no love there so this revelation didn't really strike a stir since let's face it a lot of hollywood marriages seem to be more about though the notion that beyonce and jay-z's relationship is more business than romance didn't exactly raise eyebrows 
What truly set social media on fire was their preference for money, power, and status over true love. The bombshell that followed was completely unexpected about the adored power couple in Hollywood. A blaze well, almost no one knows. But I'll tell it anyway, Beyonce's been abusing drugs. When he dropped the bombshell, he was blaming Jay-Z specifically, saying that he keeps them together for a long period, and you keep her that way. It's a bold assertion. But oddly enough, rumors about Beyonce using drugs to control her have been around for a while, so it doesn't totally come as a surprise. We were still processing these shocking allegations, Jaguar, right? Rumors of covert drug use have been around, particularly because it occasionally seems a little strange when Jay-Z makes public appearances inserting themselves into the group chat to make the same assertions, but if there's one thing you can rely on about Jaguar, it's her unabashed poetic honesty she didn't hold back when she labeled Jay-Z a force in charge, consumed by a controlling obsession with controlling Beyoncé. For example, why has Jay-Z been contacting you lately? He's a monster. The more medicines he shoves down his wife's throat to keep her unconscious, the more of a monster he is, even though I waited a long time to see if he would develop a conscience. That's not my gorgeous girl, but what really brought the gravity of the matter to bear was when Jaguar drew drew comparisons to Britney Spears' conservatorship, emphasizing how awful Beyoncé's claim was that in order to solve this apparent dilemma, you guys talking about freeing Britney, you could launch a campaign saying, free Beyoncé. Beyoncé is actually free. She is a prisoner in a gilded cage. Oh no, Beyoncé is one of the wealthiest people ever, if she is indeed incarcerated. She is being observed round the clock and isn't even permitted to choose.